الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and you, forgive us and you, and guide us and you. Hafidhukum Allah. And the wisdom of the Salaf of this Ummah follows the traditions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, stemming from Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, and the understanding of the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'anu majma'een. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال في صحيح مسلم الدنيا سجن المؤمن والجنة الكافر. The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in Sahih Muslim, he said this life is the prison of the believer, and it is the paradise of the disbeliever. أيها الأحباب, use this life. To come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is first and foremost advice to myself. That we should use our time wisely. Because we're limited in our time. And this life is not here for us to just seek out our vain desires. And we know all the problems and issues that arise from materialism. And excessive consumerism and excessive indulgence, and indulgence in drugs and alcohol, and those things which have no benefit for us. And in following our vain desires by committing fornication and adultery, or masturbation, or any of the other things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and put limits for us. Ayal Ahbab, it was reported that Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, often used to say, O youth, seek the hereafter. For we often see people pursuing the hereafter and finding it as well as the dunya, as well as the worldly life. But we have never seen anyone pursue the dunya and gain the hereafter as well as the dunya. Imam al-Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, also said, he said to he gave advice to Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, Rahimahullah Jami'an. And it was reported that Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, once wrote to Hassan al Basri to get a brief uh, reminder from him. So Al Hassan wrote back, The dunya distracts and preoccupies the heart and the body. But Al Zuhud, meaning asceticism, not giving importance to this worldly life, gives rest to the heart and body. Verily, Allah will ask us about the halal things we enjoyed. So what about the haram? Letting us know, ayu al-ahbab, will be asked about the halal and the haram we indulged in. And that this worldly life, it preoccupies the heart. And there's no doubt if a person loves music, for example, that the music will manifest itself on their tongue from listening to it, and it will be in their heart. If the person listens to love songs, they'll be inclined towards acting that out and acting upon that. If the person listens to hardcore music that is violent, then they'll be inclined to act upon that. And likewise, the instruments will maintain a presence in their ear and in their heart and perhaps on their tongue. And likewise, the individual who preoccupies his or herself with looking at the haram, that that will maintain images of haram. For example, the person who watches pornography. Then perhaps this individual will find in their dreams a lot of dreams about doing the haram and perhaps even if even during their prayer if they pray that perhaps when they close their eyes that stain that effect will be under their eyelids waiting for them as they close their eyes 
to pray to Allah Azza wa Jal, or they make sujood before Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they may reflect upon those evil things that they looked at. And likewise, the individual who preoccupies himself with those things and wealth, that they make wealth their whole purpose and goal in life, to accumulate and pile up wealth, then this will occupy their, their wealth and their body, their heart and their body. But it will be at the expense of the hereafter because you cannot combine an excessive love for wealth. I'm not saying to live within your means and strive to better your life and things like this financially. But I'm saying to preoccupy yourself with the wealth at the expense of the hereafter. They're going to contradict one another and one will overcome the other. And may Allah protect us from that. And in another narration, it was reported from Al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah ta'ala that he said, The life of this world is made up of three days. Yesterday has gone with all that was done. Tomorrow you may never reach. But today is for you. So do what you should do today. And we ask Allah the Almighty to put barakah in our days and protect us from those things which he hates and bless us with those things which he loves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.